George Kirby was wrong for his media comments. <sighs> Look, yes. Mm -hmm. George Kirby absolutely shouldn't have made the comments that he made publicly. He should not. George Kirby was through six innings pitched, 90 pitches. He was through six inning and those 90 pitches was sent back out for the seventh inning ended up giving up a game tying two run Homer on the 102nd pitch of the game. And then post game had quite the comments to say out there. Uh, they were quite polarizing and said, I wish I wasn't out there for the seventh, to be honest. Now the question being the overreaction being, should he have made these comments? I, I do not believe so. Mm -mm. What I will say is I respect the, look in the media world, I, I want players to speak their mind, right? Yeah. I just feel like he's a young pitcher that needs to learn how to properly do it. And the way to properly do that is to talk to your manager. Now, the reason this became polarizing is because, ah, players should just keep on going, keep on going. Well, the, the reality of this as a baseball player is understanding there's oftentimes plenty of conversations of a guy walking off the mound after six innings and 90 pitches and saying, Hey, and my arm, I, I feel like my arm's done. Like, let's, let's call it at that, which is that happens all the time in baseball. It just doesn't get out publicly. So what he shouldn't have done is what he did. What he should have gone done. If he felt like he wasn't in a position to go back out has gone to Scott service in the dugout and yep. said, Hey, uh, let's have a conversation right now. Let's call over the pitching coach. I just feel like my arms lagging a little bit. I, I feel like I'm tired and I don't think I can give it my best effort and go back out there. And they would have said, great, we'll, we'll bring in somebody to not say that. Mm -hmm. And then to go out there and give up the game tying Homer. And then to publicly say, I feel like I shouldn't have been out there. Doesn't sit right with me, but you know, I, a lot of these comments are like, well, back in the day, this never would have happened. Pitchers go out there. Well, a lot no. of the pitchers that have been vocal about this that I've publicly seen we're doing other things to make sure they could get through more innings on the mound, you know, stuff that really helped them in games, steroids and such, you know, I, I get, I get what you're saying. I get it's a different age. It's a different age with everything, Alex, to be honest, th back in that day, let's uh, obviously I didn't see a lot of examples of like steroid guys being vocal, but back in that day, Pitchers were different. You weren't throwing a hundred percent max effort every single pitch. That's John Smoltz talks about it every week. So to say, well, we used to throw 120 pitches. I, I get it. And I do wish George Kirby would have just gone out there. And he did. He came out afterwards and said, or like the next day and said, I'm the kind of pitcher that the ball has to be pried out of my hands. And I made a mistake and I shouldn't have gone about it that way. I agree with that. I, I, I think if he could have and should have, you should have gone back out there. I understand everybody up in arms about this. The big reason I'm saying these comments shouldn't have been made is because they should have been had in the dugout. And if he didn't feel like he was okay to go back out, he should have told his coaches and this never should have been made public and never, nobody would ever be making a big deal of this. The thing you have to remember, you're not going to have your best stuff or you're not going to have a great game yeah. every single time you come out there. We see that with athletes. That's why we see pitchers get pulled in the second, third, fourth inning. Sometimes it's just not there. And the, the part with, with Kirby is once you're mentally out of it, and if he didn't believe he should have gone out there for that seventh right. inning, you're toast. If you're mentally not in it and you're already thinking I shouldn't be out there, there's no way that you're going to execute the way that you should. You're not going to hit your spots. You're not going to have your best stuff. So the issue is, yes, we don't know if he had that conversation, but he should have had that conversation in the dugout before going out. Any coach will yep. understand and respect that. Like, okay, if you're telling me right now you don't think you can be out there, I don't want you out there because mentally you're already out of it. And mental part of the game is half of it, especially as a pitcher when you're out there. You have to be so locked in the entire time. So, yeah, this was a young pitcher's mistake of how to connect and talk to the media. You should never kind of air these conversations out that yeah. way where you're kind of maybe throwing your manager under the bus of like, we don't like, did he ask him and he still put him back out there? Like, did they have the conversation? Are you saying like he, like it was his fault because he shouldn't have been out. There's just so many different ways you can take it. And again, I think it's like knowing your body, knowing when you have it. So that's why I don't think it's the, he doesn't like, he's not a fighter. He doesn't want to stay out there. That's not it. Sometimes yeah. your body just doesn't have it past a certain point. Yeah. It just, it, he didn't go about it the right way. I think, I think the narrative that's out there publicly and why people are frustrated is because 
he doesn't have the grit. He doesn't have what it takes. And that's not where my frustration comes into no. play here. I get it. And, and I also am old school in that line of thinking. Like I want to see pitchers go deep into the games and I want to see more complete games. And I want to see starters push well past the hundred pitch mark and show some grit out on the mound. But my frustration from this situation doesn't come from that. It comes from, this is a young guy that I think handled this poorly, poorly. and yeah. he should have had these conversations in the dugout. The fact that they were aired out, uh, to your point, if this was brought up in the dugout and yeah. he was sent back out there, that would be a whole other issue. Yeah. I don't think that conversation was had in the dugout. It should have been, it wasn't. And that's where my frustration and reasoning for him. He shouldn't have made these, uh, these comments come into play, but the game's different as yeah. much as anybody the, we need to, we need to admit the game is different. Pitchers throw differently. Uh, we don't see pitchers throwing deep uh, 120, 130 pitches anymore because it's so max effort. Yeah. So sometimes 90 pitches, especially if they're high stress pitches and runners are on base, sometimes they're just exhausted and that's okay. Mm -hmm. But just communicate that with the manager and not with the media that yeah. then's going to get publicly aired. So I yeah. uh, shouldn't have made the comments. It also